Hi, this is Simon from HomeKit News, and this week we're looking at a smart switch that's compatible with both Philips Hue and Apple HomeKit. It also needs no batteries. Interested? Keep watching. So, no box this time, but the contents all arrived safe and sound thanks to Jenna and Ad Hoc Electronics. There should be seven pieces in the package, all listed at the side here, including a spare single rocker switch, should you prefer a single rocker to the double rocker that it comes with. Switching that over is really easy, which I'll demonstrate shortly. This switch can also be placed on a wall or replace a standard switch. For installation I'd recommend a Phillips screwdriver along with any kind of small screwdriver or similar to be able to remove the faceplate when necessary. Now the technology that's involved that doesn't require a battery is all located inside the switch and basically every time you press one of the switches it generates just enough power to send a signal over to the Hue bridge to control your lights or a scene. You have two basic options for how this switch is placed. Now you can either replace a standard switch which involves disconnecting the old switch, connecting those wires with the provided wire nut and then screwing the new switch in place where the old switch was. Now if you want to install this switch where there isn't already a switch, you simply screw the rocker switch to the provided back plate which can then either be stuck to the wall with the provided command strips or if you're feeling a bit more adventurous you can simply screw the plate into the wall provided with the holes in the back plate. As I've already mentioned you can actually swap out the double rocker switch with the provided single rocker so I'll show you here just how easy that is. Now you're going to need the small screwdriver I mentioned before to prise off the plastic surround that encases the rocker switch which is just held in place with four small clips. Once all four clips are disconnected, you can just simply pull out the frame which gives you complete access to the rocker switches. These rocker switches simply pull out and can be put away in case you need them at a later date. Placing the single rocker switch is simply the reverse procedure to what I've just done with the other switches. So once it's all in place and it's all clicking into place, uh, you simply just put the switch frame firmly in place itself and you're good to go. So regardless of whether you're placing this on a flat surface or in place of a regular switch, you'll still need the Decora face plate. Although this plate is standard size, so if you've already got one that you prefer, it should fit fine. On to adding the accessory to the Hue app and you simply select the settings, accessory setup and then select add accessory and then from there you select a friend of Hue switch option and then select the run less wire click. You then just follow the on-screen instructions which means holding down a button until the switch is registered with the Hue bridge and once it's all registered it should just give you options to add these switches to different rooms so one switch can control one room and another switch controls a separate room that's all assuming that you go for the double rocker switch option. So once that's all in the bag the Hue app will actually give you a few suggestions as to what you can do with these switches and typically you might have the up switches on, the down switches off and then if you hold the up switch or hold the down switch they access the dimming capabilities in the Hue app although in actual fact you can program these up and down switches and the presses to do anything you really want to except that's only in the Hue app, you cannot do that in the Home app for example. Now the Home app only allows you for presses so you don't actually get access to long presses unfortunately but it does give you the option to control more than just hue lights so if you're not concerned about the switches being able to control the dimming aspect of a light and you want to control more than just hue lights probably the, the uh, home app is probably the one for you now i haven't gone into the aspect of installing this in a wired situation because i'm not an electrician and i wouldn't feel comfortable giving advice but do check out the full review on homekitnews.com and then you can get some more information in that respect. Thanks again.